When your PM has no kahunas, it sure makes foreign policy very difficult. and welcome aboard. Well, the crisis in the Middle East, at least for the moment, seems to be de-escalating after President Trump said we would be standing down after no injuries occurred. During the rocket attacks yesterday, that if reports are true, Iran even gave warning in advance that they would be targeting our bases. Now, I believe they realize that their regime would not survive a conflict with the U.S. No duh. Anyway, but what a day it was for Iran. First, they had a stampede that killed approximately 50 people at the funeral for Soleimani, which was probably mandatory to attend for all government employees and their families, or they would suffer the consequences. Ah... You gotta love the freedoms you enjoy in Iran. Not long after, in a region that contains their only nuclear power plant, they were rocked by a 4.9 earthquake, which was said to be of natural causes. Maybe their Allah, or Trump, was unhappy with them? Huh? Anyway, moving on. So not long after... Iran shot missiles at U.S. bases in Iraq, Ukrainian International Airlines Boeing 737 crashed shortly after leaving Tehran's international airport, killing all 176 aboard the flight. Now, Iran claims the plane had technical difficulties, but at the same time, they refused to hand over the black box flight recorder from the plane. Hmm, sound a little fishy? Yeah. To add to it, the plane itself is almost brand new. It was only four years old and had just passed a safety inspection two days prior. Also, video footage of the plane coming down seemed to show it was already in flames. هواپیما آتیش گرفته شهریار فردوسیه بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم خدای خود کمک کن زنی میزم آتیشش کن now toss in some pics of the wreckage that seem to show odd punctures to remnants of a fuselage. All this while Iran's forces, which aren't well trained, are all on high alert, expecting the possible retaliation from American forces in the shape of airstrikes, maybe? Aboard this flight were 63 Canadians. So this brings us to the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin trying to sound like he's got a backbone, Trudeau, saying, Our government will continue to work closely with its international partners to ensure that this crash is thoroughly investigated and that Canadians' questions are answered. Hmm, I just have to say that I'm not an expert on aviation. But if you think this was coincidental, that an engine just decided to explode on a four-year-old plane at this particular moment in time, then you'll also believe Epstein killed himself. And as far as JT actually getting any answers, you'll have better luck seeing pigs fly, because Iran knows he's a pushover. Now, may the people who lost their lives on that flight 
rest in peace. And to the families, go my condolences. And that is about all I've got to say on that one.